hey there everyone welcome to a new video in this video and the upcoming videos uh, we are going to talk about trpc what trpc is what is the problem it's trying to solve and in the next video we will have a simple demo where we will see it in action so uh, if you go onto the official docs of trpc the first line says end to end type safe api is made easy so in order to understand this statement let's first understand what is the problem that trpc is trying to solve so consider like you are writing a backend it's a node express django golang laravel ruby on rails whatever it is you design some apis these are the restful apis so there is no official contract between the front end and the back end regarding those apis so there are a lot of guessing games on the front end okay so the api is gonna return this response it's going to take that much of arguments the body will look something like that unless and until those apis are documented uh, in a better way there is no like way the front end developer can tell okay this is the response this is the body this is the status code it's going to return so consider if you make any change on the back end you change the response type of an api and you didn't document it the front end is going to crash unexpectedly so to try to like solve this problem trpc was designed a uh, lot of you will say like okay the graphql is also trying this trying to solve the same problem but there is a difference between graphql and trpc which we will discuss uh, later in this video okay so what is trpc rpc as you know it stands for remote post procedural calls so it's a method for the communication between front end and back end so you define some methods on the back end and those methods can be easily consumed on the front end you design some apis you have some response type and as soon as like you change the response type the front end is going to automatically detect that change and will prompt you with an error so i guess that's pretty cool feature to have uh in order to use trpc like you have to uh, use typescript on both front end and back end so that's one thing which you have to keep in mind now a lot of uh, you might be guessing okay graphql is also trying to solve the same problem but the difference between graphql and trpc is that graphql is a query language it has a schema it has mutations queries resolver subscription and all of that so it's a complete language whereas trpc is just a method of communicating between front end and back end that's it so i guess uh, that's that makes sense uh, in the next video like we will have a simple demo we'll design a back end in node js and a front end in react and we'll try to integrate the trpc uh, then it will make much more sense like how it's going to you how it will be useful in your projects one last thing which is like not related to trpc so in case your back end apis are designed in like using rest principles and your front end is designed in react so this is a pretty cool library which is restful react so what it does is it scans your open api spec file and it generates the uh, hooks corresponding to those apis so i guess that's pretty cool library so in case you want to use it so you can have a look at it it's like restful react so uh, if you are using it please let me know how you find it and we'll see you in the next video